How many children got to die before we wake up? Wake up, wake up. The mentoring process, as we have found in the city of Chicago, is driven by the number of strong, positive, uh, especially black male role models that you can recruit. The more of them you can recruit, the more young people you can work with. Them, to be who the lambs please, please, somebody give me an answer. You have to get involved in some organization. You have to get involved in some way where we each one teaches one. You have to get involved. These are these are our sons. These are our nephews. These are our family. A mentor is someone who like guides you and provides you and stuff and inspires you like like tell you what to do and don't do. I'm not just students, you all are scholars. But it needs to show on that report card. It needs to show when you come here on Tuesday. It needs to show in your home, in your community. Phil, we believe that uh, relationship building is, is key. So then we have really intensified this mentorship program. Any black man that calls himself a black man and can say he cares about the community's requirement, you know. It takes it takes men to teach boys how to be men, you know. In our groups we say, like back in the day, it took swords to sharpen swords. So it takes men to sharpen men. Uh, men in my life, before I came to the Urban League, basically my uncle, sometimes I uh, go to speak to my granddad and maybe my father if, uh, if he's not in jail. All of you all are peer leaders. That's why we strive to implement in you all that you all appear leaders, not just kids in the neighborhood. Since I first walked through the door, um, I've, I've experienced some things. I've had conversations with people, and I can honestly say that this program is, is, a, is a huge part of me now. My, my, my discipline level was like, I mean, I wasn't bad at anything, but it's just certain things I did was because I didn't have nobody saying, you know, like, hey, that's probably not a good idea, you shouldn't do that. So having a mentor, that, that just changed a lot of things, even, even with school. And in my opinion, if a person has lived a life of value, and has savored much in their life, there has to be something that you can give back to the newer generations. It's biblical that one, after a person reaches a certain age, that you must give back to the next generation, and that generation must give back to that next generation. I say that a good mentor is someone that I look up to and um, who I believe has some, done something in life and can teach me something, new opportunities. Everybody gonna need a mentor in their life, no matter who they are, no matter what age they are. That's some neat volunteering, it led to me um, doing other things, uh, like I, I cut hair to, to bring uh, a, a sense of pride to the young man on Tuesday night sometimes, or uh, I, I do the Peace in the Hood campaign during the summertime when we do outreach to stop the violence, or, you know, it, it, but it, it fills you up because once you start seeing changes and you start seeing youth take on to what you're saying, and, and, and taking heed to what you're saying, and, and, and making changes in their own lives, then it, it's, it's a uh, satisfying thing. Tell me why my son don't wanna be loved.